What's up? And welcome to another Library Chess Productions movie review. I got one of my favorite amiibos, Mario, here. And this time, I'm going to be reviewing the newest Adam Sandler Netflix comedy, The Week Of. Oh boy, I normally avoid these. But this time I didn't because I'm on a YouTube channel, so why not? Why not get a review out there? But I'm actually going to start it off with a little bit of positivity. Let's just get that out of the way. First of all, it's not a horrible movie. It's just not good. Because we know what Adam Sandler does these days. Well, really what Adam Sandler has always done. And I haven't really been a fan of Adam Sandler in a very, very long time. This movie is a little bit more low-key. I don't find that the characters are necessarily forced into these extreme situations in order to get a laugh. In fact, Adam Sandler himself puts in, a, again, a pretty low-key, realistic performance. And I actually think that in the past, he has done some really good acting roles um, that he's, you know, hasn't played that typical comedic Adam Sandler. So because the problems that they face in this are a little more natural, he, it doesn't really fall as flat as some of the other Sandler shit that we're used to. But with that comes the fact that it's just a bland movie. And it returns the gags that weren't funny the first time, but then it decides to recycle them again and again and again. With that said, it, it did accomplish something that an Adam Sandler movie hasn't really accomplished. Now, mind you, I, I don't watch a lot of them anymore because I know what I'm going to get, and I don't like what I'm going to get, so why would I return to the scene of the crime? However... It made me chuckle a couple times, I gotta admit. There was a few laughs that did work for me, but in like a two-hour movie, that's really not enough to make it a successful comedy. Um, I think Sandler's time as a comedic actor has, has been done for a very long time, and yet there are people who keep watching this stuff, myself included this time, so Netflix sees that people are watching it, and does it really matter if people don't like it, if critics don't like it, whatever? No, it doesn't, because people are watching it. I don't want to pick on Chris Rock too much, but he seems bored a lot of the time in this, um, which really, even in his most recent stand-up special, I haven't found him that funny. Now, I don't know if he, I should have probably researched this, but I don't know if he actually co-wrote any of this, but Chris Rock, who, you know, I gener generally like, just kind of slept walk his way through this. And there's a real problem with pacing. Because it's called The Week Of, you get to see what happens before the wedding of Chris Rock's son and Adam Sandler's daughter. You get to see that through the whole week. And a card will come up saying what day of the week it is, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, in case you don't know the days of the week. You're welcome. But this actually hurts the movie. It's, it's in a very subtle way, I suppose, because you wouldn't think that it would have that big of a deal. But in my mind, I kept thinking, oh, Jesus, we're only at Tuesday or whatever. We're only at Thursday. Like... That, and, and it made the movie seem so much longer. Even, I mean, it's a fairly long movie for what it is anyway, but because of that, it was such a slog to get through because you knew that it had to get to a certain date before it would even end. And I forgot this earlier when I said we'd be positive. This is actually a positive part that I want to uh, comment on. There's a little bit of heart at the end. Um, the message that shines through is one of a father doing everything they can for their children and how hard it is to let go. But when it gets to that part, it got me a little bit. But with that said, it was kind of like hitting a lob ball because it's really not that hard to get me. Um, even movies that I really don't like, such as this one, can throw in an emotional climax or a scene during the movie that will get me because, to be honest, I'm a sap. And sometimes I fall victim to, this fa to the fact that I get involved in a particular emotional scene and then that colors the rest of like, the colors the rest of how I view the movie. And this movie did that, but then we're hit with a really terrible joke right after, and I'm, like, snapped back into reality, like, oh, crap, yeah, right, this is what this movie is. So then I'm stuck in a position of where I rate this. Do I give it a maybe if it's free? Or do I proclaim it as just Shudder? I don't think I can drop the Shudder bomb on this one because, to be honest... It's not the worst movie of the year. In fact, I've seen maybe five or six other movies that are as bad or worse. So as weird as it is for me to say this, if you ask me, should I watch this movie? I'm going to say, maybe, if it's free. Which it is free because it's on Netflix, but again, it's only a maybe. So that's what I think of the week of. I hope you enjoyed the video. But as always, I'm going to turn it over to Castle, the best bunny critic in the biz. 
See ya. Hey, bud, do you think you can forgive me for making you watch this movie?